Jason Priest reviews Back in Action. The Pool Boy Splash. How you love that? I reacted to a video that is titled Damn. McDonald's employee beats the ish out of a customer for disrespecting him. Let's get into this video. Don't take that mess outside. Take that mess outside the yard. He said, man, go on out in the door, man. Go on outside with that mess, man. You know what I'm saying? Go on outside. Take that mess outside now. You know what I'm saying? But uh this is this is a this is a prime uh case situation of some people feel like respect is worth more than money. And that's that's real to some people, like. People are like, oh man, he's stupid, he's gonna lose his job. It's always gonna be jobs out there. You know what I'm saying? You can find a job. I mean, some people it's hard to find jobs, but they're not looking in the right places. It's it's always jobs out there. I mean, as long as you, you know what I'm saying, keep a clean system, you don't smoke weed and do drugs all the time, you can pass a drug test, as long as you're not a convicted felon or a rapist or some crazy stuff like that, you're gonna get a job. Some people feel like respect is worth more than money. You know, to some degree, I agree. Respect is worth more than money. You know what I'm saying? I, you go to some of these jobs, and that's why I never wanted to work at fast food. I never wanted to work at none of these jobs where you got to deal with customers because it's just like, yo, um, it's like some of these customers feel like they can talk to you any type of way just because you're serving them they food. It's just like, gee, like, um, these are human beings just like you would give you the right to disrespect somebody behind this counter. So, you know, since the guy was, uh, the guy was punching on him, like, he must have really said some disrespectful stuff to this guy, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I, can't, I would never make it in the fast food industry, man. You know what I'm saying? Because people get attitudes. We talking about the customers. You know what I'm saying? You know, I know why uh people that work at McDonald's and Burger King all these I know why they be mad. You know what I'm saying? So when they be mad, they be having an attitude. I'm like, damn, you know, bitch, I ain't do nothing to you. You know what I'm saying? But I, I can figure deal it because people go into McDonald's all the time on some on some bullshit all the time, man. You know what I'm saying? The guy probably went to McDonald's and thought like, oh, I'm gonna talk to this dude however I want. He ain't gonna do shit because he ain't gonna want to lose his job. And wrong. He jumped from behind that counter and kicked your ass, and I didn't. You know what I'm saying? Kick your ass. You got it like he was going to do something trying to take your shirt off. What you think this is? A uh, Petey Pablo or a music video? Take your shirt off. Ring around your head just like a helicopter. North Carolina. No, 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 no. It's none of that. Keep your shirt on. Nobody want to see you take your shirt off. Keep your shirt on, man. And just take that ass whooping like a man. Walk out, man. It's your fault. You know what I'm saying? They said it, it, the title right here. If the title is true to the video, you disrespected him first. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm pretty sure, you know what I'm saying, he, the guy must have did something wrong to him for him to, to put his job on the line. You know he fired. You know what I'm saying? The guy fired for McDonald's. They ain't going to keep his ass. They ain't going to keep his ass after doing some stuff like that. I mean, you know what I'm saying? If he had a cool ass, cool ass, cool ass manager, you know what I'm saying? Maybe they'd keep him and they'd just, they'd be like, man, go home and stay home for a couple of days or something. I don't know, but... But then when he picked he picked up he picked up something like uh I think he had picked up the little uh the dispenser. You know what I'm saying? He just Peter picked up the, the juice and the soda dispenser. I think some out he, he he did something over there with the with the juices and stuff and slammed it on his head. So now now you're messing with the McDonald's uh you mess you messing with the McDonald's uh uh merchandise, for lack of better words. Now they gotta fire you, man. You know what I'm saying? But hey, you can always find a better job, man. Sometimes, like I said, respect is worth more than money. You gotta do what you gotta do, man. Sometimes, some people think that, that they're gonna talk to you any type of way, man. Like you gotta show people, like, listen, man, this ain't that, man. You know what I'm saying? This is something totally different. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
You just gotta get, you just, you just gotta, man, put in work sometimes, man. And some people just looking like, oh my gosh, like, why would you, look? Like, he not value his job? Like, he value his job, but he, he value people giving him respect more. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the motto that, 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 that everybody should live by. You know what I'm saying? If you're not gonna respect me, okay, that's cool, but you're not finna disrespect me. You see what I'm saying? Like, you ain't gotta respect me, but you're not finna disrespect me. You just finna keep the shit in the middle. You ain't gotta show me the up road, up, utmost respect, but you're not finna come in here and disrespect me. But anyway, if y'all enough of that talking, if you guys wanna watch this original video without my commentary, y'all already know what to do. It's in the description below. Y'all get down there and start swimming. It's the pool boy. Splash. I'ma holler at y'all the next video. I'm out.